All right, well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sisters, you too, it's Pastor Val. Um, and, and of course, I, I got comments again, uh, or let me just say an email sent to me, and I want to go ahead and answer this out in the open so everybody can understand and, and, and hear a clear perspective. Um, people are asking me questions about, um, you know, Pastor Dow, should a Christian um, carry a gun to defend himself and if necessary shoot um, and kill someone in defense um, of himself and his family? First of all, number one, you need to understand um, that the Bible is not a Christian book. Uh, I don't care how much you've been deceived by the Roman Catholic Church or um, um, these European nations, these Anglo-Saxons who have uh, practiced um, uh, replacement theology uh, in this world, but the Bible is a Hebrew book. It's a Hebraic book. Uh, and when you're looking at a Hebraic or Hebrew, you're looking at someone who looks just like me, a Hebrew. Um, and they're Israelites. So therefore, we have to come from that perspective, not from the Christian perspective, because you come from the Christian perspective, the Romans in this country, as well as the modern day Christians, uh, they're going to tell you a different philosophy and perspective other than what I'm going to give you. Now, the truth is this. The truth is, is that over in Deuteronomy 24, somewhere along about verse 7 and stuff, if a thief break into your house, you have a right to kill him. Uh, Jesus himself in Luke 22, 36 clearly told you um, that if you don't have a sword, you sell your cloak and buy one. They said, well, here's one. Well, you know, you got two of them. I mean, think about it. You need to have a sword on you at all times. So the modern day sword just have to be the firearm, the gun. Um, and you need to protect yourself against all enemies, foreign and domestic, at all costs, no matter what. I mean, regardless of the philosophy of this society, stuff. So, so I definitely advocate that you uh, definitely keep a sword on you. As a matter of fact, if you don't keep a sword on you, you are in transgression. You are in, in total lawlessness of what the book says, especially if you claim to be a Hebrew and you're an Israelite. Or either I or an Israelite. Um, so according to the, 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 I gave you one in the Old Covenant and one in the New Testament. Um, uh, a scripture there. Uh, and of course, and let the words be established by those two witnesses, Moses and Jesus. Um, and that's what you need to do. First of all, if you, if you don't want to be confused, you get, you're going to have to come out of this, this religion and philosophy called Christianity because it's all jacked up. Um, you're going to get rid of it. Uh, if you're going to be a Hebrew and understand that Moses was a Hebrew, uh, Yah, Yahweh, uh, the creator of the universe, he's the God of the Hebrews and no other nations here on this earth. And I know that's a hard concept for many of you to grasp and understand. That's the reason why you're not ever going to continue to keep getting the truth. Uh, concerning the truth because you've got other nations trying to represent what that Bible is saying and not even qualified to even preach, teach, or instruct, or even try to um, give any rules and guidelines or out rules and guidelines concerning this. So until you grasp that concept, you're going to stay in a, a other state of confusion and chaos. I would, my suggestion is if you're going to follow the book, the Bible, uh, you should listen to someone like me. I'm a pastor. I'm going to tell you the truth. Uh, and, and remember, uh, the Most High is not interested in your opinions. I'm not interested in your opinions. He didn't send me here to represent men's opinions. He sent me here to represent his truth um, and to tell that truth, uh, whether people hear or forbear. So I hope I had something, said something that encouraged your heart and your mind. Uh, Y'all be encouraged, King coming.